Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, transient response of series RL and RC circuit using DC excitation. Okay, now. First, what is meant by transient response? Transient response is nothing but the response of the system is depends on the time. And here, two graphs are there. Okay, now. One is uh, one graph is related to input and another graph is related to output. Here, here observe the output graph. The response of the system is depends on the time. Here, when time is zero, response is high. When time is changing, response is also changing with respect to time. This response we are calling as transient response. Okay. Next, coming to the steady state response. Here, same time and voltage we are taking. When time is zero, voltage our response is high. when time is changing from 0 to something time and the response is also constant the response is does not uh, depends on the time this response we are calling as steady state response in this segment the main aim is to set how to set input voltage input waveform for this and this is the circuit diagram to set the input voltage and for this input voltage we require only two apparatus one is function generator This range is from zero to one megahertz, and second we require CRO, cathode ray oscilloscope. This is used to display the signal. Okay, first there is some uh, arrangement in function generator and CRO to display this signal. And first, this is the function generator. This is the function generator. It is used to generate different AC signals. These are different AC functions. These AC functions are depends on the in frequency. okay and this function generator used to generate different functions with variable frequency we know that ac signals depends on the frequency right this ac signal depends on the frequency right in this experiment this is this is the square symbol for that first switch on the power supply okay after switching on the function generator we need to select the square function like this we need to select the square function after selecting square function this signal depends on the some frequency for that we need to select respect to frequency for this signal we need to select 100 hz frequency okay now this 100 hz we need to adjust in this display by using this frequency knob just set this frequency to 100 hz Okay, and set this frequency to 100 hertz. Next, next terminal is DC output. Initially, this DC output should be in off mode. Check it is very very important. DC output should be in off mode. And next one amplitude. This amplitude should be maximum. And this is the setup in function generator. And we are generating this square signal. And the generated square signal is displayed in the CRO. And this is the CRO. And this CRO consists of two channels. channel 1 and channel 2 okay na these two channels are used to apply the voltage okay na and this display is look like a graph it it consists of x axis and y axis x axis we are taking time y axis we are taking voltage okay these are the voltage terminals and this is time for division it is common for both the channels common for both the channels yeah first switch on the after uh, switch on the cro After switch on the CRO, we are getting one flat line in the CRO. Suppose it is not exactly in parallel to the reference line. For that, we need to select ground button. We are adjusting this flat line to the ground reference line. Okay now, for that we are using Y position and X position terminals to adjust this wave flat line to the reference line. This is Y position. While varying this one, the waveform or uh, signal is varying in Y axis like this, and this is X position. we need to adjust in x position x x axis okay and release the ground button and here our experiment is in dc excitation our experiment is in dc excitation for that in cro there is a ac and dt dc terminal is there when it is re in release mode it is in ac mode and when it is in press it is in dc mode we need to select dc mode this is the imp another important thing in cro we need to select dc mode is it clear and and here we need to select volts for division and time for division scale okay now volts for division this gives the volts for division 
वन डिविजन इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच ओल्ड्स एंड टाइम फॉर डिविजन वन डिविजन इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच टाइम फॉर दैट वी नीड टू सेलेक्ट स्केल इन द डिस्प्ले ओल्ड्स फॉर डिविजन वी आर सेलेक्टिंग फाइव ओल्ड्स दिस इज द इंडिकेशन ब्लू लाइन ब्लू डॉट इज द इंडिकेशन टू सेलेक्ट वोल्टेज वी आर सेलेक्टिंग फाइव ओल्ड्स एंड टाइम फॉर डिविजन दिस इज द इंडिकेशन वी आर सेलेक्टिंग टू मिली सेकेंड्स मीन्स वेल ड्राइंग द ग्राफ फर्स्ट वी नोट ऑन दिस स्केल Write the scale. X-axis one unit is equal to two milliseconds, two zero two four six eight like that. In y-axis one unit is equal to five volts. We are already set. And zero five ten fifteen like that. This is the graph of CRO. And after se uh, setting all these things, and this is called CRO Pro. This is called CRO Pro. This CRO Pro. to display this whatever the signal we are generating from this uh, function generator the signal is displayed in this here by connecting this servo to and here in function generator there is a output terminal is the output port is there in output port there are two terminals red and black red is generally we are red is considered as a positive black is considered as a negative and this servo there are two terminals same uh, servo pro red and black connect red wire to red as it is black to black yeah whatever the signal we are selecting here we are selecting square function the square function is displayed in the cr the square function is displayed in the cr suppose if you require another signal if you want to change the function the same signal also coming here like this for this transient experiment we want only square function this square function is ac just observe this is our reference line this is the positive peak and this is the negative peak positive peak and negative peak but our experiment is in dc excitation for that we need to convert this ac signal into dc for that we need to reduce or eliminate negative peaks of the signal yeah. in in the function generator there is a terminal called dc offset in a function generator there is a terminal called dc offset initially we are switch off this dc offset next we switch on turn on dc offset and until the negative peak of the signal is zero just turn it on and switch on and turn it clockwise until the negative peak of the signal is zero just see after turning on this entire signal goes to positive just we need to adjust the reference line by varying it clockwise yeah now this signal we are only positive peak is present we are eliminating negative peak we are eliminating negative peak this is the signal we require only one step one positive peak one cycle here to here and this is already zero no need to draw this one we need to draw this one this signal is drawing in the graph sheet by assuming scale x axis 1 unit is equal to 2 millisecond y axis 1 unit is equal to 5 volts and this is the graph for this experiment input waveform and x axis 1 unit is equal to 2 milliseconds y axis 1 unit is equal to 5 volts you see here x axis 0 2 4 6 8 like that y axis 5 10 15 okay now by observing this scale in the graph uh, crvo y axis and x axis in y axis this is a zero 1 2 2 complete divisions after two complete divisions 1 2 3s three small divisions are there each small division 0.2 three means 0.6 2.6 divisions are there in y axis in x axis same 1 2 2 full divisions 1 to 2.5 means 5 2 Each one point two, point two, point four. It is in middle. Means point one. Total point five. Two point five divisions are there in x-axis. This is used to calculate the time on x-axis and input voltage on y-axis. This is the signal we are drawing in the graph sheet. Okay. These are the observations from CRO. From the CRO, we need to measure time and voltage. To calculate the time, this is the formula. dash number of horizontal divisions this dash number of horizontal divisions is observed in this here okay na? and into time dash time for division already we are setting time for division before okay na this is 2 milliseconds we need to write as it is 2 milliseconds we need to calculate number of horizontal divisions for that 1 2 and 
पॉइंट फाइव टू पॉइंट फाइव इट इज ओके ना नो प्रॉब्लम इट इज टू पॉइंट फाइव टू पॉइंट सिक्स समटाइम्स इट इज कमिंग टू पॉइंट सिक्स टू पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टू मीन्स इट गिज फाइव पॉइंट टू मिली सेकेंड्स मीन्स द टोटल टाइम ऑन एक्स एक्सिस इज फाइव पॉइंट टू मिली सेकेंड्स नेक्स्ट सेम टू कैलकुलेट वोल्टेज डैश नंबर ऑफ वर्टिकल डिविजन फ्रॉम हियर टू फ्रॉम आर्जिन टू मैक्म पीक वैल्यू ऑफ द वोल्टेज पीक वैल्यू ऑफ द वोल्टेज हियर टू हियर टू पॉइंट सिक्स डिविजन आर देर इन टू ओल्स फॉर डिविजन ऑलरेडी वी आर सेटिंग ओल्स फॉर डिविजन फाइव वोल्स ओल्स फॉर डिविजन फाइव वोल्स इट गिवस थर्टीन वोल्स दिस इज अवर इनपुट वोल्टेज एंड दिस इज ओन दिस इज द ओनली टू सेट द इनपुट सिग्नल इज इट क्लियर नाउ बेस्ड ऑन दीरियस सीरियस आर एल एंड आर सी सर्क्यूट बाई कनेक्टिंग आर एल एंड आर सी वी आर गेटिंग द रिस्पेक्टिव आउटपुट्स and we don't disturb this input and or whatever the setup we are done and this is kept as it is and connect the series rl and rc circuit you see now series rl circuit already we are setting input then we need to find the voltage across inductor voltage across output voltage across inductor this is this is observed in cro first we need to connect this circuit in breadboard we require 1 kilo ohm resistor 1 henry inductor and function generator three apparatus function generator and 1 kilo ohm resistor breadboard connecting wires and this is the it act as a inductor decade inductance box dlb it is having different resistors and in this different inductance values in this we require only one henry inductor okay now all these are kept it in zero mode and this should be set to one henry this should be set to one henry and connect first take two wires connect to the inductor and take another two wires connect to function generator first resistor connect in the breadboard anywhere in the breadboard 1 kilo ohm resistor just i am connecting like this okay now for this resistor first end is connected to function generator positive means red one resistor first end is connected to function generator positive just observe when you are connecting breadboard observe vertically there are five points are there okay now in one point resistor first end is connected and remaining four points are there when you are connecting this function generator positive to resistor you need to connect vertically remember you need to connect vertically now resistor and function generator positive are connected in same position okay and for resistor n inductor is connected this is the inductor terminal and it is connected to resistor n same vertical position only okay next another terminal of inductor these two terminals are related to inductor these two terminals related to inductor and for inductor n function generator negative is connected just connect as it is and this is the connection of simple series rl circuit with the source function generator series rl circuit with the source now we are observe the voltage across inductor voltage across inductor for that we need to connect cro this voltage across inductor is observed in cro for that we need to connect cro probe across the inductor this is our cro probe it is connected across inductor here red to red and black to black this is our response this is our transient response this response when time is changing response is also changing when time is changing response is also changing this is transient response of the system across inductor this is about series rl circuit same future next transient response of series rc circuit now we are measuring output across the capacitor output this is the capacitor it ranges 0.1 microfarad and for we are taking 1 kilo ohm resistor same connect circuit first we are connecting resistor in the breadboard and function generator positive is connected to resistor first end and for resistor second end capacitor is connected 
for capacitor and function generator negative is connected okay now we are measuring output across capacitor for that we need to connect cro probe across the capacitor this is the cro probe just connects here across the capacitor graph and this is the output response of the rl sorry rc series circuit transient response of rc series circuit now we need to draw this wave on the graph okay stop